Hi friends, so today we are going to take the help of ChatGPT in order to create a very simple Flask application, a to-do app, all right? So first I ask this question, can you create a project structure for to-do app in Python Flask? Well, this is what it created and that's a very beautiful structure and it created it in like a few seconds. So let's copy this and I have opened this sticky note and I pasted it. So we are going to uh, go ahead and create this structure for us and then proceed with the rest of the code okay so right now i have created a single folder to do underscore app and opened it in vs code so now we are going to create the rest of our structure So yeah, I think our structure is done. Let's just quickly check it. So at the top, we start with app, init routes model, great. In a static, we have CSS style, great. And in templates, we have index, add, and edit, wonderful. And at the top level, we have the run file. So our structure is complete. Now let's quickly copy and paste the code. So the wonderful thing about ChatGPT is, it is also going to show you what each of those folders is gonna do so that's very handy if you actually want to understand what all of this does but uh, we are going to go quickly here so I then typed I need code for each of those files what this does is it keeps repeating your prompt automatically and then all you have to do is provide a continue prompt so that it keeps on going uh, with each of those files all right all right so our first file is init file and it has generated code for that and you can see it is using sql alchemy let's quickly jump over click on init file and paste great if you don't have any of these packages then i'll show you in a minute how you can do that all right so let's proceed to routes.py file let's copy this code click routes.py paste it let's check for any error right now it has highlighted to do so we don't have anything in models so let's proceed ahead and yes this is our models.py let's copy it and paste it great so let's hope the error is resolved not yet but uh, let's delete that type t again and yes now it is resolved so that's great furthermore see this is what i typed so after typing all of that code it stopped but i knew that uh, the project structure is not done yet. So I typed continue and it spit out another code for us for index.html. Let's copy it. Click on index.html and paste it. And don't worry about the layouts file for now. So as you can see, it has included our CSS style file. All right. Uh, it has gone in CSS folder and then style.css. So that's actually wonderful and it is using the URL for function, which is great and the Pythonic way to create endpoints in a Flask app. So let's go ahead and this is the add to do file. Let's copy it, click on add to do and paste it. This is the edit to do page and uh, yeah, another boilerplate, but let's paste it, great. So yeah, we are actually pretty much done. Then I, well, it stopped at this line. This is the HTML template for the, and that's it. So I typed continue prompt, and then it spit out this. Okay, so all of these commands are related to database. This one initializes the database, okay? This one creates a script for all the changes that you have made in your uh, models file. And this one applies those changes, all right? So I asked it, what if I don't want to do it? It again gave me this command. So it said that if you don't want to do this, then you can make the following changes in your init file. And it is great, okay? So it has provided the whole code in, in single code format, but inside it, this particular code is for init file 
and this code is for run file so let's make sure we are doing this right so copy this click on init file and paste it below this to see the changes so we have this one new let's cut it move it appropriately here wonderful then we have already initialized the app so let's delete that we already have given it this uh, uri great and uh, this one track modification so let's cut it from here and right after the first configuration paste it now we have again uh, instantiated the sql alchemy class nice so we deleted that and now we are going to cut this migrate option and put it after this because it needs the db variable from here so db object to be precise and yeah so we are done with editing the init file and now finally there's nothing in our run file let's drop down here copy whatever code we have in this and paste it so we have few errors flask migrate and flask script so what do we do well first of all open our terminal and i hope you can see this so in terminal first of all we are going to install pip racks so pip install pip racks okay so for me it was already satisfied but it is an amazing module to only gather the modules that you have used in your project and then it creates a requirements file so what i'm going to do is simply type pip racks and press enter so it is saying that successfully saved requirements file in the following folder so it is right here requirements file so you see we have the flask module flask migrate flask script and flask sql alchemy now you should not use whatever requirements file chat gpt creates well let me actually show you so uh, let's tell it to create a requirements file so can you create a requirements file for the above project Okay, so it's creating and I hope you can already see it that there's a huge difference between the dependencies let's copy this move on to our VS code paste it below this so the difference is huge you see chat GPT is trained on the da Vinci model all right and it was updated until December 2021 so obviously when you tell it to create this requirements dot file it will keep only those versions in mind until that time since then we have huge improvements in all of these modules so never let chat gpt create a requirements file we have all the modules inside our uh, well models routes well python files and just use piprex to create a requirements file and it will actually create the latest versioning of each module so that explanation was long but i had to tell you this because i have fallen trap into this so pip install dash r and then requirements so i didn't have flask script and flask migrate now i do have them let's click on routes and uh, init file great so this migrate squiggly line is gone yeah now the moment of truth let's try to run this server and fix any error that may come so uh, this flask script is still white okay well uh, let's see so flask script yes now it's fixed let's delete this migrate command and write it again so see we don't have migrate command anymore we have migrate so we may have to change migrate command to migrate so yeah uh, see those changes were very important now let's run this file okay so we have instantly got this error no module named flask.compat okay so the problem is coming from flask script import manager this one this one is somehow not letting us create it so let me just pause right here and come back with a solution okay so i had to make a bunch of changes to actually make it work why because this flask script manager is no longer compatible so first let's delete that and now we have to make a few more changes and that's why relying completely on chat gpt is well not a valid option all right so let's quickly make those changes let's delete 
both of these actually we don't have to import migrate let me tell you why let's uh, change this as well so we are actually going to directly run this app from here and in init file we are we already have imported the migrate option we are also creating our migration what we are going to do is initialize our database and migrate both of them from here so db dot init app and in that we pass the app itself furthermore migrate dot init app and pass the app again now in order to create the tables you have to import the to-do file so we have done so in run.py so we are importing that and we are going to create the tables from here so with app dot app context we are going to create this table so db dot create or right and our database is actually defined in app module so in this init file we have created this db and uh, let's hope this works now so run uh, before we do uh, let's turn debug to true so that we can actually see the errors if they come and i'm actually seeing the error myself that template not found so what happened there we have templates here we have static files here as well but it is not able to communicate with them so this is another issue with well chat gpt that it could not figure out the correct project structure you see the templates folder needs to be inside the first main app so let's move it now the static same thing in the app itself let's move that as well and with instance one well let me actually delete this this is my previous runtime let me delete that okay so we have templates and a static in that so it is actually running it i'm going to stop it and run it again so great now let's uh, try to open it so great we have a to-do list here so let's try to add a task well finish chat gpt video let's try to add this and yes it has added that and i have this db browser to check whether we have that info or not so let's open it instance we have this to do browse data and yes with an id and title well, we have that information and let's check our models so in models we only had the title you could have a description as well so let's ask it uh, can you add a description column as well in models.py so we already have until this point so i know it was very simple we just had to like uh, copy paste it but still it's fun to let chat gpt do this thing click on database structure to do and then right click it modify table and add that manually so the name was description i believe let's copy this watch our value from here paste it in that and we had 500 as the limit so yeah hit okay since we have made another change in it we have to edit the html file and things like that and we can ask chat gpt to do it now let's uh, click on edit the first one and we don't have edit.html well i think it got the name incorrect in our routes.py we have add route here we have edit route here and it has called it edit.html and uh, had us create edit underscore to do.html so let's just quickly change it to edit underscore to do so this should work now let's refresh it and yes so we have it finished chat gpt video so let's type finished let's save it and yes the first one is finished now i just wanted to show you that chat gpt can actually help you create code and a working code with the you know slight variation but you shouldn't rely on it completely okay use it as a tool that will help you create codes faster if you don't know flask and you want to start from scratch then you can actually check out my flask related video and see you in the next one take care bye bye